Hello guys, so what you're looking at here is a Harbreeze Belvis ceiling fan from 2004. The ceiling fan came out of my grandma's office. It was either one out of the five or one out of the six. Can't remember off the top of my head. I had got this for childhood reasons and it was replaced with a Harbreeze Mayfield to take its place. This is a 44 inch ceiling fan. These came in antique nickel, which this is in white and bronze. The blades are reversible to bleached pine and cherry. Gives you three abstract glass. Um, this is the early version of the Belvises. You can probably tell because you don't see too many Belvises with wood pole chains. They're very uncommon. This one doesn't have a logo on it. You're gonna ask, you're gonna say it's a Litex Belvis, but these were purchased at Lowe's. The boxes said Harbreeze Belvis on them. It doesn't have its canopy up right now. That, the reason behind that is the original mounting bracket is pulling up my delta, and that one is like where like the screw's going through the bottom, so I can't hang the canopy up. Yep. Without any further ado, we can start by demonstrating the light. So here's the light. I have these really funky LEDs around. I got them because they're cool. Um, let me show, like, shut my lights off. Over here because it glides up the whole basement, which is very good. Let's turn these back on. And I guess we can go to low now. Okay, seems low. The ceiling fan has a very fast low speed. I have no idea how big the motor is. But I'm not joking when I say this. It goes as fast as like a 172 fan, like a 172 millimeter motor. When these were discontinued, but I know when they discontinued these, they made another version called the Bellevue. No, Bellevue. And in my opinion, it's just the cheaper version of the Bellevue. So it has like these screwing globes, and they're just way cheaper. Because I've experienced a Bell Vista and a Bellevue, like they're just a lot noisier. This one's uh, for being the early version, it is absolutely silent, which I really like about it. So. Here's medium. Medium looks like a high speed. Tell me about it. I know. <clears throat> this was in my bedroom for the longest time, but I replaced it. Because, and then when it got replaced, I put my Navajo Delta up, and then I replaced the Navajo Delta with something else, and you'll and I'll be revealing what's up there soon, and you'll see the video shortly. And you're gonna say this fan is running on high, but it's actually not. This is medium. I don't know if it just has a uh, like a big motor or just has a good capacitor. I'm not very sure. I guess we can move on to high now. Here's high. And this thing like always wobbled, even when I was in my room. And when I installed it over there in that plastic box, and you know it's, a fan's gonna wobble in a plastic box, so there's no surprise there. But <clears throat> it just always wobbled. And like, this is like the only time it does not wobble. It just does a little shake, but you, it's very hard to tell that's even doing a little shake, so. It's at least blowing some air. If this fan wasn't such childhood for me, like, if these weren't childhood, I probably would sell this, but I am not.
probably hear the air whipping from it. <clears throat> Just this a little bit. All right. There's the light. And this is the bell. This, oh God. My bad. All right, back to whatever I was saying. Fun fact about this Bell Vista, it uses the regular sockets doesn't use those tiny ones that the newer ones use. So, yeah. I didn't try uh, tighten my tripod that good, so excuse me. <clears throat> Anyways, here's spin down. And my camera's freaking out. All right, there. To be honest, like, this Bella Vista is like more decent than most because I know a lot of Bella Vistas aren't the greatest, but to be honest, this one's actually not that bad. Just fix my light. All right, there. It's been so long since I hung this fan up, I literally forgot how long the spin down is, so we're gonna find out. To be honest, these fans remind me of the Harbury's Cheshire two ceiling fans because of the brackets and all. And Dan will like it. And you're going to be like, it's not Cheshire, it's Cheshire. Well, if you really want to be proven wrong, then go on Google Translate and search up uh, the um, pronunciation of Cheshire. So, yeah. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.